Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for October 13th, 2013. It's currently 7.30 a.m. We have windy conditions out there ranging from 10 to 20 miles per hour over much of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, 5 to 15 miles per hour over the northern interior, and temperatures range from the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior, and mid to upper 50s over the New York City metropolitan area, and upper 50s to lower 60s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Today is going to be one of those cool, cloudy fall days. Possibly an isolated shower, but I doubt it for most locations. If you're going to see an isolated shower, it's going to be like right along the New Jersey coast, especially over southern New Jersey. The big story today will be the winds, especially along the coast, ranging from 10 to 20 miles per hour. Now, temperatures today will range from the lower to mid 60s, mostly due to the cloud cover. If we get some breaks in the cloud cover, Look for temperatures to jump up into the mid to upper 60s, especially over the Philadelphia metropolitan area. But considering the northeasterly flow and the marine influence coming in from the Atlantic with the overcast skies and low clouds, temperatures aren't going to be moving all that much for the rest of the day. So pretty much a cool and cloudy fall day. Not bad though. Now when we take a look at the latest surface map, you can clearly see here high pressure is anchored in over New England and we have what's left of our low pressure system down here around the coastal waters of the Carolinas. Between the high pressure system and the low pressure system we have about a 15 millibar gradient and that right here you see how this packed in right here that is what's going to be producing our windy conditions for today on through this evening. As this high pressure system lifts northeast and this low pressure system exits out in the Atlantic this cold front will approach for tomorrow, producing a few isolated showers, but more importantly, clearing all this mess out of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, and also reducing the winds by tomorrow from the north around 5 to 15 miles per hour, eventually from the northwest as that cold front moves through. On the latest infrared satellite picture, you can see that low pressure system out here spinning and slowly weakening and falling apart. High pressure is building south and east, but because of that onshore flow over the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, expect variable to overcast cloud cover, broken to overcast cloud cover. As you move towards Connecticut, though, I think, as you, especially as you move north, north and east, look for those clouds to break up and set up what should be an actually a very nice day with sky cloud cover and winds 5 to 15 miles per hour from the north northeast. And then here's our cold front approaching from the west, again, with a few isolated showers by tomorrow afternoon. And then high pressure takes control with clear skies that are currently over the western Great Lakes will take hold over the northern mid-Atlantic for the middle of this upcoming week. On the radar, you can see a few of these isolated showers down over the southern mid-Atlantic. Again, I can't rule out an isolated shower over southern New Jersey, but I think most locations will remain dry today as we fall under the influence of the high pressure system over New England. Over the next couple of days on the European mile guidance you could see via by the way Penn State U Ball website. I always mention that. Okay, so for today high pressure is going to be in control from New England. Here's what's left of our coastal storm that is exiting out into the Atlantic. For tomorrow that weak cold front moves through. You really won't notice much of a change aside from the winds decreasing around 5 to 15 miles per hour from the north and northeast, eventually veering off, or should I say, backing to the northwest by tomorrow afternoon. High pressure will be in complete control for Tuesday and for Wednesday. Look for temperatures to rebound into the mid to upper 60s. Could see a few lower 70s, especially in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Other than that, high pressure control with clear skies and comfortable weather conditions. Now, on Thursday, a strong cold front will move through with widespread showers, possibly even a few isolated thunderstorms. The rain may be heavy at times as this cold front moves through. Temperatures ahead of the cold front will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s, lows in the lower to mid 60s. However, by Friday and Saturday of next week, high pressure will be in complete control once again. Clear skies, tranquil weather conditions. Temperatures a bit cool in the upper 50s to lower 60s but dry conditions nonetheless. That's your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Follow the latest weather information at nynjpaweather.com and nynjpaweather on Twitter and Facebook. 
Have a wonderful day, and as always, stay safe out there.